Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Beyond the Sewing Room. So today I thought I'd give a quick tiny sewing room update and tour. So if you've not seen my sewing room before you might like to have a little look around. It's very small. Now I live in a three bed semi in the UK. So if you're from America, uh, the USA, uh, you may have different room sizes to what we do because property here I think does tend to be a lot smaller and I've seen some fabulous sewing room tours uh, for fellow crafters over in the USA and there are some amazing sewing rooms out there. Mine is only small but it, it suits me. I've got a space to do some sewing and that's the main thing and I did another, I did another sewing tour um, in, back in December and I've added a few little bits so there are a few things that I've added, that's why I'm starting over here today. There is more things I'd like to tweak, but as you'll see, I'm very limited on space. So I'm going to get straight on and show you what I've added. And I'll just give a, another tour of the whole room for anybody who's not seen this before. So I hope you enjoy this. Please feel free to comment and it also if you have any tips, I would love to hear them. I'll also let you know how big my room is and, you know, a few details about a few different bits. So let's get on with it. Now, first of all, this behind me is a new addition that I've added just this week. So we had a little trip to Ikea this week and I went with the sole intention of buying a little shelving unit for here. So just behind me, I'll show you a better look in a minute, I'll bring the camera down, but I have a chest of drawers, which is currently housing lots of fabrics, scrap fabrics and some notions and also a few off-season clothes in the bottom drawer. So I use this unit quite a lot. I'm not going to get rid of it because it's a really good storage, but I needed something on top of it here. Now, mainly because I have the books on top and uh, they were falling over and I wanted more room for books. I also wanted somewhere to display a few things, which I just keep popping in uh, cupboards and so on. So I bought this one. So this has just got the these three shelves, but you can buy additional shelves for this. So if you've got a small space, this is ideal. You can wall mount it as well. So I think this is really good. So it's just housed my books nicely. A few notebooks that I use regularly and a few tins and notions and just a plant for now. Now I'm sure over time, it's probably going to get filled up with other things and not look quite so pretty, but it's what I wanted. So that's the first thing that I've added. So I think I paid 30, 35 for this and like I say you can buy an additional shelf, you can buy numerous shelves if you just want smaller ones. So that's the first thing. So this is the unit below it that I was talking about. So I've got lots of notions in this top drawer, it's just full of elastic and all kinds of things. This I've been using is mainly a scrap drawer at the minute, loads of scrap fabrics in there and things for quilting and jobs like that. So it's a really handy unit and then in here we've got all kinds of fabrics and things and these drawers are pretty pack full. In this corner here is where I keep my mannequin so as you can see here the wall comes out so this is where we have our staircase comes up underneath bulkhead I think you would call it so the staircase comes up up here so this takes up a big chunk of the room this is sort of a dead corner cuts off quite a lot of space but what I've done behind here, I finally added myself a mirror. So here we have a mirror on the wall, which is great. So I can see things at full length. And if I have anybody who wants an alteration doing and they want to try something on, there's a full length mirror there. I also finally got around to adding one of my pictures up here on my wall, which has been sitting on the floor forever. Finally put that up. I'll bring you around and show you my workstation. So this long bench here is my, a, a table that my husband put up for me. So it is just countertop and he's just put brackets on the wall because as I said it is a small room. So I've got the wall here directly behind my overlocker. The wall comes up at the side here. I've got the wall straight across the back and then at the other end of the room you can see the wall again. So you can see how small that area actually is. So this is really useful because it goes the full length of the room. So I have my overlocker at this end, my table, I just scoot my chair across the length of it if I'm using my overlocker or my machine. I've got my machine here, 
got some more machines under the bench which I'll show you in a minute and it is very messy somebody commented once before how tidy it was well it's very messy under my table at the moment so I've got a few things on the back I added the cotton reels just before Christmas so this is an area to store my cotton reels but I have got cotton stored all over the place actually this frame here was something I made myself so what I did I used an old photo picture frame took the glass out, painted the back white, painted the frame, added the bunting and the bits. These are just clips that you can buy for holding my patterns and things. And then I've just added a few fabric samples and different things and I've changed that. So every now and again, I'll have something up here that I'm working on, but it does need a refresh at the moment. Actually, I've got a few bits and bobs that my lovely friend tends to buy me things like this for my birthday. Um, the button jars and things like that and all my scissors and notions stored at the back so over here in this corner you can see it's quite messy again but I've got everything that I've got in regular use so all my needles are generally out because I'm forever changing them as I'm working so I just like them to be within reach rather than tidied away all the time I've got my different scissors and things and pins a few buttons and there's various things in these two little chests here so one of them, the top one, has some toiletries years ago, but I use it for sewing products now. And this one was a little sort of cotton caddy that I inherited off somebody. Uh, somebody was given it and they passed it on to me and I've just covered it in wrapping paper. And again, that's been like that a few years now, so I could probably do with a refresh. It's getting a bit tatty at the edges, but I painted it and just covered it in paper. And that's really useful for extra cottons that are just within reach and different sewing tools. Now, up here above my bench, I have these really useful shelves. So I've got another sewing box, some manuals and some more sewing things in these caddies up here. Scrap fabrics are in these containers and this is just another shoe box that are covered in some nice paper and more boxes that have just been covered that house anything from zips, buttons, all kinds of things. I just store them up there out of the way. I also have this cupboard on this side which again is just chock full. Papers, fabrics, elastics and things like that up there. Now here's where it gets messy. So under my table, it's very messy. <laughs> I've got a box full of patterns under here. So it's full of patterns, a big bag there that stores lots of packaging bags for when I have to send things in. This is full of various cottons that I use for overlocking. I've got my chair here that needs a new cover on it. I covered this myself, this needs covering again. I have a, a machine that I was given down here and also under there with a cover on it is my machine that I like to use for buttonholes. That's my preferred, machine for buttonholes because the one, my newer one, I'm not keen on how it does it. I like the old way, the four step way. And then I have usually a plastic bag down here for catching overlock threads. So being real today, so you can see all the mess. <laughs> this little table here, there's patterns in all the boxes that are under here. This one I made recently that you've seen. The moment, there is also a bag of fabric that I need to do something with down there. I always have a hammer and a piece of wood also for when I'm applying rivets and things like that. So now you can see we're back on this side of the room. So it doesn't take much to just quickly whip round the camera and show you this small room because it's not very big at all. Now behind me I've got a wardrobe which used to be my son's when he was in this room but now I use it and I don't know what I'd do without it. I recently thought about getting rid of it to put another bench on this side for a machine one of my machines that I keep under the bench so I don't have to keep lifting it up and down when I'm using it and I don't think that's going to happen because I use this just all the time for storing work that's going to be sent off, storing work that needs to happen and just more of my overspill of patterns and things and uh, yeah it would be great but I don't think that's going to happen. I'll give you a peep in there now. But up top I've got work that needs to be sent, I've got handbags because I do handbag making, accessory making, things that I've made in here. There's hangers here because sometimes I hang things that I'm working on uh, in here but the main storage is the bottom really so I've got work that needs doing, I've got patterns stored in boxes here but it's a bit untidy at the minute like it's not always tidy loads more patterns there and the bottom has got more work more patterns and the box of fabric 
So I hope that was helpful. A few things that I would like to mention is I would have loved to have had a cutting table. Now I can cut odd bits on my bench here but this is mainly a work area so there's not really room for cutting things out on there. So I do tend to be a person that cuts out on the floor so what I tend to do is have a hoover up first always to get like the bits up um, if there's any fluff or anything and then I do that I've got more room in my bedroom for cutting out so I tend to just do it either on the floor the dining room table downstairs but then that's not always big enough sometimes if you've got a really big piece of fabric and you want to really lay it out the floor is the best option I think but what I did see another thing at Ikea and I wrote it down it was the Norden gate leg table this would just be amazing for cutting out and some of you may already have that in your cutting rooms please let me your cutting rooms your sewing rooms please let me know in the comments if you've got one of those now I checked out the measurements now it's 31 centimeters sort of wide when it's got the sides folded down and it's 81 centimeters um, wide this way so I had thought that it might fit at the side where I keep my mannequin where I've just shown you over here and where my mirror is but no it would just take up too much space and it would stick out here beyond here where my overlocker is so it would come out maybe to about here sticking out beyond this wall that I've just shown you anyway sticking out that way the mannequin would no longer go up to the wall and it'd be something else in the way of the mirror that I've just added so that wouldn't be great would it uh, it's 74 centimeters high but it extends to a maximum of 152 centimeters with the sides up so the sides drop down and it's nice and neat and compact and you can put it away to one side but then when you lift up the sides you've got this big table great great for cutting out on so if you've got room for one of those somewhere um, that might be a thing for you now I hope that was enjoyable I know I've done a sewing room tour before but I thought I'd just show you a few bits that I've added in it's only a couple of things but they all make life a little easier don't they and it's good to keep improving these things if we can and it is difficult when it's small to get things exactly how you'd like them but I try to make it as streamlined and to work best for me as best I can with the space that I've got and I know I can't complain because I've got a designated area for sewing years ago I used to just do it on the kitchen table or whenever I could get my machine out I still did use to sew but it's easier to just go to it so that's all for today let me know what you think if there's any tips for adding some more space saving ideas for me to use and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.